And if I had taken different actions um, that night, then at, at a minimum, I wouldn't be responsible for it. Erica Stefanko in the hot seat today, telling her side of the story in the killing of Ashley Biggs. It is the brutal custody battle we've been covering since the beginning. This trial began six days ago, and now the woman at the center of it all is on the stand. At 4 o'clock, we told you Erica's side of the story of what happened on that fatal night. Only at 5 o'clock, the prosecution questioning everything. Brittany Weir has been following the development. She's live in the newsroom tonight with the latest. Brittany. Yeah, during Erica Stefanko's testimony, she claimed that she didn't know her ex-husband was going to kill Ashley Biggs. According to Stefanko, Chad Cobb told her he was just going to hide drugs in Biggs' car. This was the plan the whole time, but it quickly turned into a murder. Erica Stefanko taking the witness stand in the Summit County courtroom on Monday. Stefanko is on trial for the murder of Ashley Biggs. She claims that on the night of the murder, her ex-husband, Chad Cobb, was just hiding drugs in Biggs' car like he had done in the past. This was his way to get Biggs arrested so he could claim full custody of their daughter, Grace. I find it very curious that during this conversation with Cindy, in which you're telling us today that the whole entire plan, you're spending all this time talking about a plan to plant meth. At no time during that three hours did you ever talk about the fact that it said, hey, Cindy, look, I don't know what happened. We were just going there to plant some drugs. I wish and, I would have said that and, now. And it turned out that he <clears throat> ended up killing her. The prosecution questioning everything Stefanko is saying, even attacking her credibility and wondering how a jury could even trust her. So now here we are with this jury deciding your fate. And how are we supposed to know that you're not just telling them what they think, what you think they ought to hear? I can only tell you, I can't make you believe right. it. In court wrapped up for the day and the defense said they had no more witnesses. So this means the only thing left to do in this trial is for the jury to come up with a decision. That will happen tomorrow afternoon. We'll be there live for every moment bringing you those updates. And when we find out if Erica Stefanko is guilty or not. Live in the newsroom, Brittany Weir, 19 News.